formidable squad under the tutelage of the head coach Anthony Andrews and the win the title and defending it like the men's team will be the primary objective. And well, Gokulam Kerala have had an ideal build-up to the Hero Indian Women's League bagged their first scoreline Kerala Women's League title. The Malabarians were also uh, becoming the first Indian club to play in the AFC Women's Club Championship in December last year where they went down uh, to top West Asian clubs in the AFC Cup. The Malabarians defeated Bunyotka by 3-1 in their last group game. And well, the head coach Anthony Andrews excited for today's clash. Let's hear it from the man himself. Uh, we have to hold the nerves till the end of the game, uh, till the end of our last match. We have to be calm, we have to be composed, and uh, we have to be determined. Uh, and the work as a unit is what we've been doing from a couple of uh, from last uh, ten matches. Are you looking at the equations that are still playing at the back of the mind or uh, you just want to go out and win? Uh, we are taking one game at a time, so we are not bothered about what will happen the next. But what we are doing is uh, we want to take one game at a time and prove ourselves and uh, work out with three points. Well, the Gokulam Kerala have put up uh, this uh, particular lineup uh, today morning and they have kept seven clean sheets in the nine games so far and it will be uh, down to this back four to stop the flow of goals going in and no changes from the side which played in that 4-0 win against Sirvadam Sports Club. Uh, Somia and Kashmina continues. The star attacking midfielder Dangme Grace is the creator-in-chief. Uh, but look at that front four of El Chadai, Manisha, Somia all start together once again for Gokulam Kerala this morning. It's a 4-2-3-1 and Anthony Andrews in the dugout. The start has been phenomenal to this Gokulam Kerala career. But he will be in knowing winning the momentum must continue to keep the top spot alive. And Kashmir Nashir Voikar, of course, is the big name on the bench for Anthony Andrews. And El Shaddai, she has shown the end product game after game. And Manisha has shown the flash of brilliance now. That hasn't changed though. It's her ability to work the channels, the effort and endeavour are always there. And well, a sudden rise in form followed by firing striking line. Orisha Sports will look to continue with their winning mentality when they take on Gokulam Kerala Football Club in the Hero Indian Women's League game at the Capital Ground this morning. Uh, the game will be Gitanjali Kuntia's 10th outing with the Odisha outfit. Uh, Sports Odisha are the newest representatives of the Odisha football in the main frame of Indian football. And Odisha Sports have already established themselves as a professional sports institution with investments in field hockey and lawn tennis as well. As Indian football has a lot of potential to grow right from the grassroots level to the absolute top. There is a lot of talent, especially at the age group level. And they believe that the Indian football has to continue building from the ground up in the form of academies and grassroots centres. Uh, talking about the head coach Gitanjali Kuntia, she shared her thoughts ahead of this crucial tie. Third will be clear and uh, we try to win the match and we play against uh, table topper. Uh, our mind also uh, to fight against them and win the game. Uh, do you have any plans of spoiling their uh, party? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hope for the best. Well, the team news for Sports Odisha uh, this morning. Uh, Sashmita has been in decent form, but it is that back four that will want to make her job easy. A different centre-back pairing though with Manisha and Mamta Patra. Eva Panna impressive in the previous game as a sub and she will get a start in place of Sangeeta Das who is on the bench and Piari is two goals away from going joint top with Dular Marandi, Apurna Narzari and Priyanka as the top scorers in the Hero Indian Women's League. A special game for Gitanjali. A win today is going to be her fourth of this campaign. It's a 4-3-3. Uh, from the Odisha side and Gitanjali's well-oiled machine is well on its way to stay at the top five if things carry on in the same vein. And Sumitra Hembram as an option. The left footer will look forward to get some game time here. And Janabi Kishan, the number 15, is also on the bench. So as Lakra. And well, the referee for today's game is Usha. And she's going to be assisted by Chim Chim Seto and Debbala Devi Langbam. The fourth official for today's game is Ranjita Devi and match commissioner Sudhir Menon. 
A win today will help Gokulam Kaila to cement the top spot and will apply pressure on Setu Madurai who will be playing later in the day. And Sports Odisha will look to derail their run which will help them into the top four. Not much gap between them and the Indian Arrows. Well, there's Hermil and Kaur, who joined Gokulam Kerala this season from Don Bosco Football Academy and Mansa as well. Uh, those big two will be hoping that when they come on, their scoring boots are on and Gokulam Kerala's remarkable performance against Silverdam saw Somia and El Shaddai uh, get on that score sheet and how can we forget the quality of that player. Uh, she might be hitting pick form at the right time. She's a top goal scorer with 15 goals in the competition and will be the player to stop. And Sports Odisha over last couple of games started to look more comfortable in their clothes. Their credentials still unclear, but today they like those watching will look for more clarity. And Sports Odisha's biggest win in the Hero Indian Women's League was that 9-1 victory over Sirvadam Sports Club. As Shubhadra Shahu and Piyadi were on the score sheet that night. And all of them is in the match day squad and two of them are flash. And more importantly, records at stake and three points as well. And there is no doubt in Gokulam Kaila's attack, but more importantly they are learning uh, how to ride the storm of attacks uh, from the opposition. They are learning that defending is much of an art as an attacking and that ability uh, to contain the steam in this pressure cooker of a league race will be tested once more uh, this morning. Uh, the Malabarians currently on a 19 game unbeaten run and Odisha Sports are now with a win after a few disappointments and the numbers are partial to one side as they walk out and we have seen stranger things happen when the Hero Indian Women's League get to this point in the season. Gokulam climbed to the top spot last evening and Sports Odisha will desperately want to climb one more today as Gitanjali Kuntia, a couple of training sessions here and there and some videos as an evidence of what she wanted from this team uh, since uh, then they have become better and the change in identity is there for all to see. It is match number 58 in the Hero Indian Women's League and we have eight more matches remaining after this uh, before the season comes uh, to an end. This uh, so is the second day of round 10 and we kick off uh, proceedings with uh, Gokulam Kaila taking on Sports Odisha and we are underway here at the capital ground with the first game of the day. Uh, the table toppers Gokulam Kaila only up by goal difference at this moment uh, which means Setu Madurai breathing down their neck reminding them of their presence and Anthony Andrews wants the side kick as now he will look for all the help he can get from El Shaddai a tweak here a tug there Gokulam seem tighter and taut uh, but this morning they must be like shadows under the 
A gloomy sky here, the capital ground. What a challenge for the young head coach. As the rain is pelting down here. Overcast ground conditions is going to be slashy and very challenging, especially for the goalkeepers. And Gokulam Kerala are used to playing in this kind of conditions back home. And they will be adapting a lot more quicker to this wet, slippery surface. An early shot from Piari. And no troubles whatsoever uh, for Aditi Chauhan. And goal kick for the Malabarians. As for Gitanjali's team, being at the top five of the table has suited them. Lush, deluxe and prolific frequently leaving us out of breath. And riding this great sea of optimism which they will hope to end. And so we welcome you to Gokulam Kerala vs Orisha Sports. A record is on the line. As an early defending to do for Gokulam. Very uncharacteristic of a Gokulam Kerala side. An early pressure from Sports Odisha. In the 90 minutes of the Hero Indian Women's League, a league stage which is transforming minute by minute, match after match, goal after goal. And we would have said it's just another morning, but at this point of the season, it's never just another morning, isn't it? Here's a Ranjana. That plays it forward. Manisha Kalyan. Now the pace of the game. They're going to go up. And Manisha Kalyan. Finding room for the cross. And El Chadai was involved and then the follow through from Dangmei Grace. And just couldn't keep that on target. The number 11, an early chance for Gokulam Kerala. Not the first one you've seen, not the last one you'll see. And Ranjana Chanu, early troubles for her. And that was an absolute curler from Manisha Kalyan. Uh, headed away to safety by Mamta Patra. And on the follow through. And Dangmei Grace with the attempt. And here is Anthony Andrews. His team is used to uh, making quick starts in this competition. The only game against the Arrows where they went down early within the first quarter. Then bounced back. And apart from that uh, one game, uh, they've already scored first. Let in only uh, two goals. And Nisilia and Naurem Priyanka Devi. Are the scorers against Gokulam? Here's Ashalata Devi. And goes long. El Chadai on the second ball. Dangmei Grace also offering support. Ball from deep. There's a lot of space for Somi, a hero of the match in the previous game. Pulls across the face of goal. El Chadai with an empty net and she squeezed it in. Goal within the first four and a half minutes. And a perfect start for the Malabarians again. Goal number 16 for El Chadai. An acknowledgement from the Gokulam Kerala bench. Now Somia, yeah, she scored a brace against Silverdam. Just flashing it across the face of goal. El Chadai getting on the far post. Keeps it in play and nods it into the back of the net. Uh, there was a defender present on the line but still couldn't stop it from going in. Let's have another look. Excellent touch there from Somia. Look at El Shaddai. Goes on the outside and squeezing it in. Just cutting inside onto her favourite right foot. There's a high ball. There's some confusion inside the Gokulam Kerala box. Here's going to be a corner kick for Sports Odisha. How often do you see Gokulam Kerala defence under pressure? Are conceding a corner. And early in the game.
Satyabati delivers. Piari goes up for it. Uh, didn't really connect to Wadel Chadai. Falls for the number 10. Shubhadra Shah who gets a touch in. Uh, stepping up. It's been taken away by Dangmei Grace. Beautiful first touch. Somia looking to turn Piari. Dangmei Grace quickly onto the ball. It's a wayward pass. Uh, Ashalata Devi. Dropping into the hole, the number 22, Shanti. Uh, for Sports Odisha. This is Dalima. Dalima with an early ball looking for El Chadai. Can she capitalize on the bat touch? El Chadai is still alive for Gokulam. And she squares it for Dangmei Grace. And now Malisha Kalyan is oh, hitting the side netting. And for a moment, we all thought is the second goal for Gokulam Kela. And what a start from the Malabarians. And El Chadai once again using her strength, rounding the keeper, setting it up for Dangmei Grace. Poor first touch, Santi's clearance falls for Manisha Kalyan onto her magical left foot. And straight into the side netting. Gokulam Kela just playing the brand of football. They are well known for Manisha Kalyan. She is on the run. Manisha Kalyan with a low cross this time. A cut out by the Odisha a sports skipper Manisha. Ranjana takes the throw in. Kashmina. Ratanbala. The ball eventually runs away from her towards Dalima Chibar. And now she is out of position. And Odisha sports can trigger. A move from the left-hand side. A very poor touch from Mamta Patra. And this is Gitanjali. Dalima. Ratan Bala. Kashmina. Ashalata Devi. Manisha. Yeah, Manisha with a turn of pace. This is looking grimacing every time. Manisha uh, with those long strides enters the opposition's box. And now Piari, she can make something happen here. Uh, last ditch defending. Uh, that late challenge uh, from the centre back. And Somia uh, getting there ahead of Shanti. Somia through the byline. Uh, struggles to keep that one in play. Yeah, it's going to be a goal kick. An excellent pace on the game. It's been an open game so far. Uh, the first nine minutes. Uh, both the teams uh, looking to have a run at each other. Gonna keep away to Dalima. Chauhan. Ritu. On to her defensive partner, Asharatha Devi. Opting to go short. Kashmina. Spreads it out wide towards Manisha Kalyan. Ranjana Chanu. A ground pass for El Chadai. Sharp turn from the Ghanaian. Then the layoff out wide. Hugging the touchline wide on the far left, Manisha Kalyan tricking past uh, the right full back. There's the cross. Dangmei Grace onto it. Dangmei Grace goes for goal. It's gone over. And the moves just keep on developing for Gokulam Kela. Ratan Bala. And every time Gokulam Kerala keeps the ball on the deck and rotates it around, it has certainly ripped dividends for them. 
they do not prefer uh, going long a short passing build up uh, from the team in green Piari getting the support from Jashoda Munda out wide uh, for Satyavati uh, she has got Ranjana Chanu for company uh, Ranjana stood firm there and that was a decent feat Uh, ball down the middle as releasing El Shaddai and she has got Soumya steaming into the box El Shaddai taking her time on the ball an excellent tackle from Manisha and that midfield triangle of Kashmina Ratanbala and Dangme Grace with Kashmina and Ratanbala sitting deep and what a ball for Soumya a flag went up A midfield triangle and if you look at the uh, shape of sports Odisha quite similar to that of Gokulam Kela and they've got Eva Panna Supriya and Jashoda we'll come back to that later meanwhile Soumya from a tight angle shoots it wide a chance after chance for Gokulam Kela Probably should have tested the keeper at least. Uh, the wingers of Gokulam Kerala can also score goals. And all of Manisha Kalyan and Soumya showing goal scoring exploits. It's a high ball in. And Dalima to the rescue. Ashalata Devi. Uh, the India International uh, five players and this Gokulam Kerala a starting 11 for current uh, national team players uh, that uh, speaks volumes of the squad depth uh, Manisha Kalyan is referred as one of the rising stars of Indian football uh, just 21 years old from Haryana This is Piari just forcing Ashalata Devi to go for the challenge. Uh, she can be also very, ha very handful, the number 10. An injury uh, to a sports Odisha player. Uh, she needs a treatment. And free kick for Sports Odisha. Uh, this is Anthony Andrews. Uh, some instructions from him. Got to maintain that line well. It's a deep line. Man to man marking is what is required. Uh, Ritu Rani just uh, taking on Piari. It's a lower trajectory uh, delivery. Didn't get the elevation. And out for a corner. Uh, taking a touch of Ranjana Chanu. Uh, the first quarter. Uh, both the corner kicks so far. Uh, won uh, by Odisha Sports. And uh, now ball comes in into the middle. And the clearance drops on the edge. Uh, Sports Odisha recollects and uh, try to put it right back into the mix. Uh, Dali Machiba 
taking no chance and now piori carrying it in field lifting it up towards the number 9 satyavati and anjana chanu alert to the danger Here they come once again from the right. It's a good ball in. It went for the acrobatic Piari. Taken away. Low ball comes in. A decent pressure from Sports Odisha. A lot of defending to do for Gokulam Kerala. And they are looking threatening time and again. Odisha Sports and especially Satyavati. Uh, Piyari and Shubhadra Shahu. And apart from that one glaring mistake, uh, which let them concede that goal, it's been a pretty decent start from Odisha Sports. Wonderful so far in terms of going forward. Uh, showing a lot of uh, positive intent. Now Dangme Grace who wins it in a great area but loses out. And there's the strength of Ratan Bala. Tried to slip through. Intercepted by the number 14. And looking to take on Ritu Rani. A wonderful feat from Piari. She scampers away with the ball. One way then the other. Support arrives. Uh, ball driven in across Ranjana Chanu with the header for clearance. Manisha Kalyan back there defending. Ranjana looking to carry it forward. Kashmina provides support. Manisha Kalyan slowing down the tempo. Uh, that ball is quite wayward. The roles and responsibilities from the goalkeeper. She is organizing the defense, and many dangerous situations can be avoided if a goalkeeper knows how to organize the team while defending, and that comes with experience. Naditi Chauhan is quite an experienced goalkeeper. Played previously her club her football in Europe. And going higher in the pitch and analyzing the two midfielders, someone can notice that uh, the 4 2 3 1 divides the responsibilities among uh, midfielders, and that is moving in front of the defense line and is trying uh, probably uh, to hold the balance. And no conviction in the shot, she might shoot one on the turn. And uh, the flag went up against Piari, that was offside. And uh, this was Eva Panna. Impressive start from the number two in an advanced role, uh, primarily a right full back. Neil Shadai, so so difficult to get the ball off her, shields it brilliantly. energy of Ratan Pala and Kashmina time and again uh, coming into play. Uh, conditions for incidents, endurance, electric speed and technically gifted uh, players around uh, that allows them to go engage 1v1 situations and overcome their opponents. Uh, Somia this time, oh, and narrowly misses out and almost the second goal for Gokulam Kerala. 
she will be slightly disappointed. An absolute one on one chance. And getting there ahead of her marker. I'm just gonna keep it on target. So, so unlucky. This time she can rectify. Her keeper draws a wonderful save. Uh, within a space of few seconds, a second time, and she has been denied. And this time, the goalkeeper comes to the rescue, uh, Shashmita. And look at El Chadai, beautiful wall pass, chesting it down, runs across, getting the better of the number 14, Mamta Patra. Uh, keeper draws a wonderful save. Uh, the attacks just keep uh, building, just keep uh, coming in. Ratan Bala this time of the post. El Shaddai makes it 2-0. Uh, has it been given? Uh, I think the flag went up. Uh, the goal won't stand. Uh, that was Ratan Bala's cross almost going in of the post. El Shaddai inside the six-yard box. And that's been given as an offside, uh, so the goal won't count, and it remains 1-0. Uh, Dalima. What a wonderful uh, diagonal towards El Shaddai. The first touch was slightly heavy, recovering brilliantly, working it to the left channel where Manisha Kalyan is present. Manisha Kalyan, Ranjana Chanu on the overlap. Uh, taking on Germany. Manish, this is Ranjana Chanu. And a wonderful finish from El Chatai. This time the goal will stand. A wonderful team effort from the Malabarians. Ranjana Chanu taking on Germany to do. And putting it on a platter uh, for El Chatai. And she makes it 2-0. Goal number 17. Just 22 minutes on the clock and it's 2-0 for Gokulam. Uh, we'll, we'll be taking them to 30 points from 10 games. Let's have a look again. Ranjana Chanu beating her marker. What a wonderful ball. A clearing past the covering defender. And that was Mamta Patra. And just El Chadai was lurking around. And an easy tap in for the number 15. And now Piari with a sharp turn goes on the outside, dispatches a shot, and it has gone in. Wonderful strike. A third time Gokulam Kela beaten in this tournament. Uh, previously it was Nisilia, second time it was Priyanka Devi, the number 10 for the Arrows and this time the number 10 of Sports Orisha, Piari. Uh, getting her name on the score sheet against Gokulam Kerala. A wonderful feat. Uh, the game is not over yet. Uh, look at that, goes on that outside from a very difficult angle. Getting it past Aditi Chauhan. And it's 2-1 here at the battle capital ground. Manisha Kalyan waiting for support to arrive. Nutmegs, Germany to do. It's going to be the first corner kick of the game for Gokulam Kerala. And it took them nearly 25 minutes to have one. It is the second in fact. And both the teams, even Stevens. In terms of winning corners. Ranjana Chanu will take the corner. Gokulam Kela looking for their third. And not a very proper clearance. Manisha Kalyan. Brilliantly done. Manisha Kalyan with the pullback. Cut out by Satyavati. This is Dalima 
takes the throw in. Neva Panna, uh, not much distance on that clearance. Uh, stepping in, Ranjana Chano sending in a cross away from Mamta Patra. And Jashoda wins the header. And Gokulam have the ball back. It's Aditi Chauhan. Goes direct uh, towards Kashmina, loses out on that 50 50. Jashoda Munda uh, takes charge and threads it through. Uh, Supriya. She was marshalled by Dali Machibar. Puts it out of touch for a throw in. And there she is. Uh, the India International. Uh, not so active on the overlap uh, this morning. Rotan Bala is lying down injured. One of the most common ways that they meet in the teams that are using the 4 2 3 1 formation when they are trying to build up the game from the back, it's the two centre backs. They go wide to receive the ball from the keeper. And the full backs are taking a higher position in the middle third of the field. And this was the challenge. And the team is trying to stretch the opponent. And by doing so, the team will gain more spaces to pass the ball and eventually move it forward throughout the thirds. And free space in football means more time and so this coordinated movements in the field are crucial uh, for the team to get the ball out of the back safely. And a pass from the goalkeeper into the centre backs so or defensive midfielder. And that came deeper seems a reasonable option for the goalkeeper. Norisha's efforts to turn Bhuvaneshwar into the sports capital of India has been well documented over the past few years. Uh, we have seen the uh, 2018 uh, Men's World Cup uh, hockey. The city has also hosted a number of football tournaments like the Hero Super Cup and the ongoing edition of the Hero Indian Women's League with the city also set to be one of the host cities uh, for the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup and also the SAF Under-18 under 20 championship in the month of July. PR is balling. Ritu gets there first. El Chadai getting on the ball from deep recovering position for his team. She was stripped, nothing given. Piari is certainly one player to keep an eye out on, so as this uh, particular uh, one, Manisha Kalyan. Uh, Germany got in the way. And Manisha using her hands has been given as a foul. Ashalata Devi once again swept out wide for Somia. A quick challenge from Shanti. And Shanti again. And Mamta. This is Dalima Chibar. And down the line. Nice one touch build up from Gokulam. Kashmina. And holds it up brilliantly. And then angles it towards Ashalata Devi.
And Odisha Sports just struggling to get the feel of the ball. They completely pegged back inside their own region. Allowing a lot of gaps on the flanks. Ashwalata Devi, Manisha Kalyan will be giving a tough time to Germany to do. Manisha Kalyan with a one step over. There's the low cross. El Shaddai getting on the end of it. Sets up. Dangmei Grace with the grounder. Has gone wide. Another brilliant move. Arranging it wonderfully uh, for Grace. When it comes to the title race, this is a must-win game for Gokulam. And not to worry about the goal difference there. Way, way ahead. And then Setu Madurai. Uh, they have scored 58 goals in the competition, conceded three. A goal difference of plus 55. Uh, scored around 22 goals more than Setu Madurai. Manisha Kalyan again uh, with the low ball. And doesn't go all the way across. Dalima, she is robbed quickly. Ritu, Ashalata Devi, Ratanbala. Manisha Kalyan, uh, Twinkle Toad, Odisha Sports is left. The safety first from Ritu. I'm just trying to keep things simple. This is Shanti. <laughs> Those two sitting midfielders for Gokulam Kela, Kashmina and Ratanbala, just controlling things in midfield. But the score line is still not very safe for them. Kashmina. Dalima. This time she looks long. Her defender was perfectly placed. Shubhadra Shahu. Searching ball for Piari. Three green shirts around her. She clips it over the top. Chanu's header and almost inviting the danger. Gokulam Kela kept in play. Two waiting in the middle. Ball comes in towards Piari and the number two was also interested. Eva Panna, a shot from the edge of the area. It's taken a deflection in the way for a corner. And Eva Panna looking very, very promising on her start. As a midfielder. And piling on the pressure. Odisha Sports. Can they get the equalizer here? Jashoda takes it short. Gets the return. She's got space to cross it in. The header coming in. From Shubhadra Shahu. Lacked a power. Manisha Kalyan shrugged off the challenge and now El Chadai. First time challenge from Mamta Patra. On to El Chadai, Manisha Kalyan. And El Chadai. She's got 
silky footwork. She is on a hat trick. Has 17 goals in almost 10 games. A wonderful strike rate. She scored more than 30 goals for Gokulam during the scoreline Kerala Women's League. Ranjana Chanu's corner. It was close to Dangme Grace. Ritu Rani puts it right back in and gone out of play. And there she is. A pillar in the Gokulam Kerala defence. Lean and lanky. Nashalata Devi is more of a ball playing centre back who likes to carry it. Ritu Rani does the no nonsense stuff. Uh, she relies mostly on her first time clearances. Adi Chauhan under a bit of a pressure. She was lacking options. And now Ashalata towards Manisha Kalyan. The give and go is open, wonderfully done with Kashpina and now Manisha Kalyan with a flash of pace. Look at that, bursting down the left. In comes the cross. Oh! Too much pace onto it. Uh, just evading those two green shirts. Uh, she is a, certainly a threat for Gok uh, Gokulam Kela. Uh, playing with a lot of responsibility. She is the only foreign player in this Gokulam Kerala squad as Wintan left for national duties. Shahu, Ritu, Dalima forced to play it quick. Supriya for Sports Odisha. Good height on the cross. Getting an important touch. Looking to reorganize. Ritu's clearance. Carried away by Somia. Stopped on her tracks. This is Mamta Patra. A start for her in this big, big game. And up against one of the best strikers of this tournament. Wonderful from El Shaddai. Excellent close control. Slightly loose and getting the challenge in. Uh, she is dispossessed. Not a plenty of chances that has been created by a uh, sports Odisha. Most of the attempts have been uh, from outside the box. And now Somia getting in behind. Somia looks up, finds El Shaddai, hat trick is open, layoff for Manisha Kalyan, and straight to the keeper who had to stretch Shashmita. Wonderfully done by Ratan Bala. Free kick for Gokulam. She was literally pulled down. Slightly limping. It's still raining here at the capital ground in Bhuvaneshwar uh, since last night. Uh, the forecast of more rain over the last couple of days. Uh, weather is much more forgiving compared to what it was yesterday. Uh, Ranjana. Uh, the good looking ball for Somia. 
Very nicely done by the number 19. It drags her shot wide. And El Chadai was also there as an option. A very cute touch from the number 19. Uh, getting the better of Shanti. Number 26, Sports Odisha, making a change as Basanti. It's, it's Lakra, uh, Joshna Lakra, number 26, a central defender uh, coming on. And Eva Panna makes way. It comes as a surprise uh, for us because Eva Panna was doing a decent job in midfield. Maybe uh, Lakra have got more in her locker when it comes to attacking. Somia this time from the left. Uh, she was at full stretch. And nothing goes her way. Well, three minutes of regulation time remaining in this half. Is Gokulam Kela Football Club 2, Orisha Sports 1. A breast from El Shaddai and Piari pulling one back for the home team. And Dalima. Oh, the ball went out for a throw in already. And nicely watched by uh, the Balai Langbam. Uh, today's assistant referee from Manipur. Time the decision going against Manisha Kalyan. Attracting offers from uh, clubs outside India. She's got a very bright future. Oh, she's got all the ingredients uh, which a top player requires playing at this level. And El Shaddai, now she will look to complete her hat-trick. A defender just onto her shoulder. And El Shaddai hangs it up at the back post for Somia. And just going over the number 19. A low ball from Chanu. Easy pickings for Supriya. The conditions are really very challenging uh, for the goalkeepers. A long shot from distance can cause a lot of issues. Uh, the rain just keeps on increasing. The additional time of three minutes into this half. She will be impressed, Kitanjali, with the way things have uh, gone so far uh, for her side.
Ratanbala under pressure uh, from Jashoda. Mamta Patra. The ball is won in central midfield and loses out immediately. Ranjana Chanu. Somia. Now between the gap, Piari. Not the greatest of the first touches. Uh, controls it with her second touch. Somia's cross in El Shaddai's header. A false kindly for Manisha Kalyan. Manisha Kalyan goes inside. Then the shot is nestled into the bottom corner. Excellent uh, technique uh, from the number 12. And Gokulam Kela go 3-1 up right at the stroke of half time. And Manisha Kalyan scoring her 13th of this campaign. And the ball did fell onto her strong left foot. And look at that El Shaddai's header. And she checks onto her favorite side and then goes for goal. Got a wonderful vision. Now it's going to be very, very difficult for Sports Odisha. Still about last 40 seconds remaining. That's a clumsy challenge. It's going to be a booking for sure. Gokulam looking to seal the game off in the first half itself. And a booking for Shanti. The yellow card is out. The first of this game. Here's going to be the last action of the first half. We've had four goals in the first 45 minutes. Shanti Murmu. That's the confirmation of the yellow. Uh, Shubhadra Shahu taken out for treatment. Here's going to be the set piece expert of the team, Dalima Chibar. Now this angle is very conducive for right footer. Now the in swing swerve is uh, towards goal mouth. And let's see whether she goes direct or it's. Across for her teammates. She goes direct and beaten away by the goalkeeper. And she saw uh, that coming all the way and could not uh, cut off the direct route to goal. And so at half time here at the capital ground, it's Gokulam Kaila 3 and Sports Odisha 1. A breast from El Shaddai and for Sports Odisha, Piari pulling one back. And before heading into the lemon break. Manisha uh, tripling the lead for the Malabarians. Uh, these are the first half stats. 66-34. Ball possession, 17 shots taken, 8 uh, from Gokulam. Of them on target, 2 on target from Sports Orisha. Uh, 3 fouls committed by Gokulam. Both the teams won three corners each. And these are the shots taken by Gokulam in the first half. Somia with five. El Chadai with three. Dangme Grace with three. Manisha Kalyan with three. Uh, Dalima, Ratan Bala and Riti Rani with one. Seven shots taken by Odisha Sports, two by Shubhadra Shahu, Piari with two. Uh, Satyabati Jashoda Munda in Eva Pana with one shot each. And now let's have a look at the fouls committed by Gokulam Kerala in the first half. Only three. Ashalata uh, Devi, Dangme, Grace and Manisha Kalyan.
Now let's have a look at the fouls committed by Odisha Sports. Shanti Murmu, uh, that challenge, uh, bringing a yellow card for her late in the first half. Uh, the goal scorer Piari also in that list. And so the first half uh, highlights between Gokulam Kerala and Odisha Sports. Uh, day two of round ten, uh, kicking off at the capital ground. Uh, Manisha Kalyan with an early cross. A defensive header for Mamta Patra and then uh, the follow through was not on target. Uh, Somia getting there before the keeper. A perfect setup for El Chadai and she opens her account uh, with... Uh, this attempt. Another chance for Gokulam, this time squaring it off. Uh, for Dangme Grace, heavy touch eluding her, but Manisha Kalyan on the third ball hitting the side netting. And Dangme Grace again. This time it goes over. Somia one on one with the keeper, narrowly missing out. Uh, holding off a challenge, using her strength. Somia this time well saved by Shashmita. Ratan Bala's cross comes off the woodwork and El Chadai was offside. Ranjana Chanu, this was the setup for the second goal. And Piari pulling one back, wonderful strike. Beating Aditi Chauhan. Uh, Manisha Kalyan again testing Shashmita. El Chadai's header. It was a setup uh, for Manisha Kalyan. Checks onto her left foot and then drills it into the bottom corner to make it 3 1. Uh, Dali Machibar's free kick. Uh, the keeper uh, beating it away. And so at half time is Gokulam Kaila FC 3, Sports Odisha 1. And don't go anywhere, we will join you shortly. Use cream. 
me. We all, we all scream for ice cream. We all scream, swim for ice cream. I swim. I scream. I swim. You scream. You swim. <laughs> we all. We all. Oh. <laughs> scream. Swim. Scream. One point. Tungraba. Okay. <laughs> five. Oh, oh, one five, out of five. No, one. Black background, 
brown 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 Nazdik mo dana. Bolo. Black. Background. Brown. Black ground. Hello and welcome uh, back to the live coverage of the Hero Indian Women's League 2021-22 from the capital ground in Bhubaneswar and it's a 3-1 uh, between Gokulam Kerala and Odisha Sports uh, with the defending champions in the driver's seat. It was a pretty closely contested game uh, before Manisha Kalyan uh, scoring the third one uh, before going into the break and now they've got two goals cushion over Sports Odisha have given a good fight in the first half uh, despite not being in the reckoning of the uh, championship race they've given a good account of themselves and now we step into another 45 minute in the league to be played in a round robin format and only uh, one more round remaining after this and the winners goes through to the AFC Women's Club Championship uh, next year it's been an entertaining game in the first half and the net has rippled uh, four times. Lots of goal mouth actions. And I think tactically it is a lot more interesting how they go about uh, given that uh, both the teams are energetic. They've got quality. Uh, they can apply from what the coaches have told them uh, during the break. Uh, the instructions from Gitanjali will be to uh, fire on all cylinders. Uh, they have nothing to lose here. They can play the game with an open frame of mind. Uh, pressure will be on Gokulam Kerala, but they're used to handling pressures. Uh, they are one of the most successful clubs in recent times in Indian football, only six years old. Uh, defending the Hero I League title uh, quite comfortably, the men's team. And the women's are also heading towards the same direction. And Dalima Chibar with an early cross. Now the first of the second half. Now Kashmina repairing this move for Gokulam Kaila. Ranjana Chanu on the overlap. Low ball comes in. Now Shashmita now getting there. And just denying Malisha Kalyan from getting a touch. And as was the cross. And El Shaddai did follow it up. A very different kind of styles then. And observed when the players walked in. It's a positive reinforcement continuously. And these are the little things the players will turn into big, big takeaways. Dalima Chiba. No height on the cross. 
And just stretching this poor Odisha defense uh, from the flanks and creating gaps down the center. Here's Ashalata Devi. Good possession football from Gokulam. They are in complete control of this game. Somia. Somia opens up a body, tried to angle it towards El Shaddai. The skipper got in the way, Manisha. That's a corner kick for Gokulam. Gokulam looking for the fourth. Driven in across, header from Somia. She did rise up at the right time. And Manisha has got a lot of trickery. And can operate from either flanks. A very two footed player. And there's always uh, something special about those uh, left footers. They're technically very strong and looks very graceful on the ball. And Manisha Kalyan is certainly one of them. This is Ranjana. She's found the gap brilliantly. Dangmei Grace. Dangmei Grace checks back onto her right. Gets the full frame of the goal. Opens up her body. And whiskers away from nestling into the top corner this time. Beautiful work from Dangmei Grace. Brings down Manisha on the deck. I just had to keep it on target. Satyabhati. Aditi Chauhan. Supriya's header. Ashalata Devi. Brings it down expertly. Ratan Bala. Kills the bounce, Ranjana Chanu. Infield for Dangmei Grace. And out wide for Somia. First time crosses in the offer. Somia goes on her own. A wonderful touch. Stepping in across the right time. And Manisha and blocking her path. A very pacey start to the game. In the second half. Satya Bhati. Well seen by Dalima. Excellent tracking back. Satyabhati winning it high. Supriya making a run out wide. Ratan Bala clears. And this is Grace. He likes to play on the second ball. Ashalata Devi. And now releasing El Shaddai. El Shaddai checks inside. El Shaddai shoots. It's kept out by the goalkeeper. A relentless pressure from Gokulam Kerala. And almost completing her hat trick, the Ghanaian. It makes it look so, so simple. Chanu. Ashalata Devi. Sports Odisha coming into this on the back of a 6 nil victory against Hans. Shubhadra and Supriya. Both of them scoring a breast each. Followed by a goal from Piari. She's had a, a very decent season. Uh, Piari Kaka, a challenge uh, from Riturani. Ranjana. A 
a bit of head tennis going on there. And the gap was well seen. Support from the near side brings it at 20 yards from goal. Dang Mei Grace goes for it. And straight to the keeper. And she's been wasteful, the number 11, uh, since the previous game. Just a goal away from goal number 60 60. Gokulam Kerala. Uh, from 10 matches, six goals uh, scored on average uh, per game. Excellent third man movement. Ranjana Chanu. There's a long bursting run from Ranjana. She can make something happen here. And the ball went out. Finding a lot of spaces down the channels, Gokulam. Shubhadra, Dalima clears, this is El Shaddai, Manisha Kalyan, arrows it towards El Shaddai, perfectly placed for the Ghanaian. Now support arrives in the form of Grace, Grace shrugging off a couple of challenges, a very weak left footer in the end. With a quick feed, just evading past the challenges. Ratan Bala didn't get there. Shubhadra Shahu does. And now Manisha Kalyan, she can sprint and dribble both and can go past challenges and can set up Somia as well. Oh, wonderful save from the goalkeeper. Once again, she comes out on top, Sashmita. The third time in this game, winning those 50-50 duels. Eight shots are taken by Somia, all inside the box, as you can see. Those red marks, those white dots, the chances missed. All inside the 18 yard box. Manisha Kalyan, look at that. With defenders around her neck, she can sustain the pressure quite successfully. And here is Andrews. Is he on to something special this season? Uh, tenth win, knocking at the door. And after this, all eyes will be on the Hunts and Setu Madurai game. Gokula manages to pick up full three points and Setu will have to do the same against Hans and before the judgment day. And Gokulam Kela can still win the title with a draw on 26th. Uh, that is not going to be the equation on the back of the mind. Uh, they will uh, go out for full three points. No complicated mathematics. Uh, they have uh, things in their own hands, Gokulam. Uh, the only way Seto Madurai can uh, clinch 
Uh, their second Hero Indian Women's League title is only by defeating Gokulam on the decided day. And they do not have any other way around. Somia. There was a player on to her. Uh, Pratima Nayak, the number, the under 18. A player has come on uh, for Sports Odisha. Manisha Kalyan uh, charging in field. And the shoulder Munda. Lots of individual errors uh, committed in defense by Sports Odisha. Talima over the top. El Shadai. This time a good decent covering from Manisha. Kashmina above the center circle outside of the boot pass. A great technique applied. It digs it out wide for Somia. Somia with the cross in. And just away from Grace. A cut out by Ratanbala. Ratanbala once more a put off by that outstretched boot. Grace going past the challenge. No conviction in the clearance. A false for Manisha Kalyan trying to sort his feet out. A break could be on here for Sports Odisha. Ranjana Chanu wins it. Coming back from an offside position. Somia. Flag stays down. Somia. She might go all the way here. Oh, what a run. Uh, but the finishing in complete uh, contrast uh, to the now run made by the number 19. And enters the six yard box. And that was so, so close. We have touched the hour mark here at the capital ground. It's Kokulam Kaila 3, Sports Odisha 1. With about half an hour remaining in this contest. Coming at the business end of the Hero Indian Women's League. The table toppers looking to maintain their top spot in the league table. The head coach feels that the unity in display uh, would be key uh, for his side against the hosts. And they want to fight as a unit and enter the last round in style. Uh, their approach is to control the game from the first minute and to uh, stop them in the first half itself. And they want to be creative in front of the goal and walk out with all three points. Ranjana Chanu angling in towards Somia. Easily marked by Manisha. In the second half has been a one-way traffic. And Sports Odisha just struggling to master up anything on the right-hand side of the pitch. And Gokulam have plugged those gaps and that they left in the first half. And operating mostly down the wings. And slipping it through and a flag is up against El Shaddai.
uh, finding a lot of avenues uh, from the left is Somia. Uh, that was a good looking ball towards Grace. Uh, defender was very alert at the back post. Gitanjali. Gokulam Kerala completely out uh, classing Sports Orisha in the second half. Struggling to match to them in terms of pace and trickery. And playing those smart passes between the line. El Chadai again. El Chadai not allowed space to turn. Gets the better and puts it uh, for Somia. And she turns it home from close range. And 4-1 for Gokulam. And once again El Chadai with uh, the assist. The third goal as well, it was El Chadai's header towards Manisha Kalyan, which the latter drilled in into the bottom corner. And El Chadai involved in all the four goals as scored by Gokulam uh, this morning. Initially, she was challenged by Manisha, recovers quickly, and then uh, crossing it towards the number 19, uh, she heads it in from close range. Uh, the keeper was well beaten. And so it's a game set match for Gokulam. And Gokulam Kerala just knocked uh, the wind out of the Odisha Sports sails. Just fighting as a unit, entering the last round in style, controlling the game from the first minute and stopping him, them in their half. They want to be creative in front of goal and walk out with three points. And every game is important and they are taking it one game at a time and preparing accordingly. And they have to focus on the area of self-improvement when they regain possession. Uh, conceded only three goals in this tournament. Scored 60 goals. Now Piari, uh, can she get her second? Oh, almost an own goal uh, from Ranjana Chanu. Uh, that was very, very close from Sports Orisha. Uh, they have a point to prove here. Gokulam making a change. Uh, Karishma Shirvoika uh, comes on. The corner comes in. It's a low one. Easily cleared by Ranjana. Supriya. Uh, gone through the legs of Somia. Ricochets back to Kashmina. Now Ashalata Devi. When quizzed about the championship run and defending the title, Anthony Andrews opted to remain grounded. He mentioned that their team is uh, far ahead of Setu in terms of goal difference, but at this point they are not focusing on that. And they will keep it uh, for later and they will be focusing on their next game and try to put on a good show as a unit. And do not, they do not want to uh, stress for the title from now on. Well, leaking goals off late uh, will be a matter of concern for Gokulam. In the last four games, they have conceded two goals. And you do not want that kind of a stat 
uh, before facing Setu. Uh, they have got a lot of wealth in attack in Elizabeth Sandhya. It's a wonderful through ball. Somia! 5-1 Gokulam Kerala. A breast in the previous game against Sirvodem. And a breast again uh, this morning against Odisha Sports. And a fine form continues for the number 19. It's a defense splitting pass from Manisha Kalyan. Perfect weight on it. El Shaddai leaving it for Somia. Beaten for the fifth time in this game, Shashmita. The Odisha Sports goalkeeper, Satya Bhati. And out of Ritu's reach, Dalima is there to cover. Manisha Kalyan. Look at that time re release from the number 12. Somia this time goes for the cross. And keeper getting there ahead of El Shaddai. And such an able playmaker, El Shaddai. Ritu Rani, uh, she's had a tough time uh, dealing against the likes of Piari and Satyavati. Ranjana Chanu this time beaten uh, by Satya, the number nine. Good height on the cross, lifting it over Dalima. No red shirt present. A throw in taken shot, Shubhadra Shahu. Away from Ritu. Ratan Bala who wins the physical duel, Krishma Shirvoika, Kashmina, a lovely ball forward, now Somia, Somia is on the run, Somia keeps going, she's on a hat-trick, keeper just clearing it with her feet, she was chased by the number three as well, Manisha, a regulation time of 20 minutes remaining, Somia finding a lot of joy down the left. Uh, time and again looking for El Chadai uh, with those low crosses. Sports Odisha currently placed in the top five. A win could have taken them above the arrows given the fact uh, they have lost to PIFA uh, last evening. Uh, Gitanjali Kuntia mentioned that they have to hold their nerves uh, till the end and be focused. They've got to be calm and determined and continue what they have been doing good as a team. As she believes in the approach of her team. They're more robust as they, they play against the table toppers and they need to give a good fight with every game. And that fight was uh, quite visible in the first half, not in the second though. It's been all Gokulam Kerala uh, so far. Uh, 26 minutes of the second half. Time and again looking for those through balls. And leaving a lot of gap. And not close enough. And Samiksha. 
Uh, seems like we'll be coming on for Gokulam. Ready to make the second uh, substitution of the game. Now time for the hydration break. Here at the capital ground, Gokulam Kerala leading by 5-1 against Sports Odisha. A breast from El Chadai and Somia. And Manisha Kalyan with a goal to her name. And Piari Kaka is the goal scorer for Odisha Sports. And she pulled one back after uh, going down by a couple of goals and confident looking Gokulam Kerala bench on the right hand side of your screen and disappointments uh, for Sports Odisha. The home team completely on the opposite end of that spectrum. It was meant to be a season of heroics for Gokulam. It was a season meant to be uh, for them. Uh, still in discussion, Anthony Andrews and conceding that goal. He won't take too kindly to that. And that is exactly the kind of manager he is. He uh, wants perfection in each and every game. He was expecting to keep a clean sheet. And Gokulam have managed to keep seven clean sheets so far in ten matches. Manisha Kalyan, shot is blocked. Excellent disguise pass from Ranjana. Uh, cut off uh, by the Odisha defense. Kashmina, Manisha Kalyan, uh, surrounded by red shirts. And asking Ranjana to come on the overlap and she obliges. Uh, needs a better touch than that. Uh, Odisha uh, Sports uh, Head Coach and the Odisha Police of Shadanjali Samantare representing the senior India women's football team in the past credits the state chief minister Shri Naveen Patnaik for all the sporting progressions and the only credit for the development of the sports she mentioned goes to the Odisha a chief minister who are trying to develop all kinds of sports here the upcoming FIFA under 17 women's world cup will be held a wonderful opportunity for many players to show their best. Uh, the SAF under 20 championship as well uh, to be played at the Kalinga Stadium from 25th July and the final on 5th August 2022. We had the SAF under 18 championship in Jamshedpur a couple of months back. India bragging the hosting rights.
समीक्षा नंबर 18 वाज द क्लब्स फर्स्ट चॉइस ड्यूरिंग द केरला वुमेन्स लीग द हीरो इंडियन वुमेन्स लीग शी इज फॉलन आउट ऑफ फेवर and really gets a start really gets game time el chadai now she is on the hat trick and she completes it in style and half a dozen for gokulam kerala and el chadai does it again goal number 18 for gokulam's number 15 now she is having a dream season in india in gokulam kerala colors has scored couple of goals uh, for the malabarians during the afc club uh, championship in jordan she proved her worth she proved her mettle as a striker uh, scoring against uh, the west asian clubs no uh, back to back hat tricks for el chadai she also scored a hat trick against mata rupani well that was not too far though now uh, that attempt from priyari Piari, uh, trying to get away uh, from the number sixteen, Ritu Rani, uh, managing to get a challenge in. now dispossessed ranjana winning it into an important area can get the shot away now germany to do runs into a defender kashmina manisha kalyan el chadai is dragging the defender out of her position and then nashalata going for that long ball to exploit the gap with manisha kalyan trying to make a, a late run inside the box a perfect idea a double change for gokulam a perfect time to test your reserve bench Manasa and the number thirty-one Sonali will be coming on. Ratan Bala makes way. And now Manasa straight away trying to join into the party. Manisha Kalyan. is being taken off saved for that on judgment day and the coach deciding to give her ample rest so that she can start fresh against setu madurai on 26th may at the kalinga stadium
Oh, wonderful. And look at that. That's a shimmy from Kashmina. That's just so, so quality in the middle. And across his height to a Satyavati. Ranjana, Mansa, and away from Kashmina, this is Manisha, a very poor ball in, a back header, going up for it, and might slip through uh, for Piari, keeper is off. There are some senior national uh, team stars who are representing their state, uh, such as Piari and Manisha Panna and Javamani Tudu. Both the coaches believe uh, the players can learn a lot from them. Uh, Satyavati is a try. Uh, Arati Chauhan will claim that all day long. No space to shoot. Just trying to suffocate uh, the attackers. A very, very narrow. A wonderful funneling uh, from the Gokulam Kerala defense. Keeping things tight in the middle. Getting numbers behind the ball. Sonali. But in attacking means, the sports Odisha, uh, they have done a wonderful job against Gokulam. I troubled them uh, thrice in the first half, once in the second. And no other team managed to do that. And apart from uh, the arrows, uh, that was only the first quarter. Uh, Sports Odisha managed to enter the Gokulam Kerala box multiple times this morning. Kashmina, Karishma Shirvoyka, and now El Shaddai, El Shaddai for the fourth one, oh, wonderful, and she celebrates, and Gokulam Kaila celebrates for the seventh time in this game. A wonderful hat trick, four goals, in fact, for El Chadai. And frustration and disappointment in the Odisha Sports uh, technical bench. Goal number 19. Quite ahead. And the Ghanian now in the race for the Golden Boot. Uh, the only player close to her is Manisha Kalyan. She is on 13, uh, taken off already. Uh, the top scorer's uh, prize money will be uh, taken away by El Chadai. And look at that goal. Excellent ball over the top. And pulls it uh, from 
about 20 yards out. And she was offered space and the Ghanaian doesn't need a second invitation. High in confidence. The Kurdish Mashirvaika Sonali. This time well defended by Pratima Nayak. Gokulam Kela will be cementing their place on the top. Ten wins in a row. And the number will be 20 if you count those 10 matches that they've played during the Kerala Women's League. Unbeaten in last 20 matches and all of them have been wins. So, so dominating. There's the back heel from El Chadai. Uh, just a minute of regulation time left. A slightly poor from Kashmina. Recovered uh, by the girls in green. And that is quite aimless. Additional time of four minutes will be added on. And Jashoda Munda, it's quite scrappy out there. Additional time of four minutes. And without a shadow of a doubt, uh, that hero of the match award gonna go to El Shaddai uh, for four goals and two assists. And if she continues uh, for longer duration in Indian football, she will be the all-time top goal scorer. Karishma Shirvoika this time. That was uh, pretty close. And almost the eighth uh, one for Gokulam. Uh, Karishma could well have uh, scored her second of this campaign. Against Mata Rukpani. Uh, she bagged the hero of the match award and also uh, scored a goal. That was an 8 nil win for Gokulam. Sonali through the byline. And this time well collected uh, by Shashmita. And Sports Odisha will have to endure the spell. And they want uh, this to end as soon as possible. Just toying with the sports Odisha defense, Gokulam Kela. Having a vice like grip. Completely outclassed in each and every department in the second half. Imposing their authority. This time just couldn't avoid the offside trap, but the finishing was perfect. and a half remaining 
Setu Madurai uh, would be certainly watching this, taking down all the notes possible. But before that, they'll have to uh, beat Hans to keep their hopes alive for the title. Head to head will be taken into account. And then the goal difference. And the last 30 seconds remaining in this game. Kokulam Kela will look to finish this on a high. El Shaddai again. And goes for the ball in. And Mansa is offside. Oh, she's got a wonderful view on the ball, El Shaddai. And that's the full time whistle uh, from today's referee Usha. And it has ended 7 1 in Gokulam Kela's favor. And the victory taking them to 30 points from 10 matches. 10 straight wins for the Malabarians. 3 points clear of Setu Madurai having played a game extra. But what a performance. They did look slightly shaky the first half an hour. And then simply grew into the game. And stamping their authority in the second. And it has ended 7-1 in favour of Gokulam Kaila. Brilliant hat-trick from El Shaddai. And she scored four goals, a press from Somia. And a goal from Manisha Kalyan. She scored four and produced two. And today's hero of the match seems like he's going to be Somia, the number 19. And she also had a terrific game. A slightly wasteful in the first half, but in the second, you know, making her chances count. Very nearly missing out on a hat trick. She also scored a press against Silverdam Sports Club. Back to back performances from Somia. She is awarded a check of 5,000 rupees powered by Hero Motor Corp Limited. These are the match stats, 63, 37 in ball possession and 32 shots taken by Gokulam, 18 of them on target. And 9 shots taken by Sports Orisha, managing to keep 3 on target. And committing a foul extra than Gokulam. And both the team is winning 4 corner kicks each in this game. 11 shots taken by Somia. 6 by El Shaddai, Dangme Grace with 6 as well. And not finding the target. In any of the of these occasions uh, this morning, Manisha Kalyan with four, Dali Machiba with one, Ratan Bala with one, and Karishma with also a shot in this game. And let's have a look at the number of shots taken by Orisha Sports nine, Piari with three, and Satya Bhati Shubhadra Shahu with two each, and Jashoda Munda and Eva Panna. Uh, she was substituted early in the first half. Midway through the first half. Now these are the fouls committed by Gokulam. Only three. Ashalata Devi, Dangme, Grace and Manisha Kalyan. With committing one fouls each. Now the number hasn't extended in the second half. 
four fouls committed by Odisha Sports and Satyabati with one, Lakra with one, the number 22 left back Shanti Murmu with one, and even the striker Piari. She is the goal scorer for Sports Odisha this morning. And these are the goals then. El Chadai uh, with the first one within the first four minutes of the game. And the second one from Ranjana Chanu's cross. What a ball in by the number 14. And the Ghanaian just keeps on adding to her tally. And 19 goals already for her. Uh, Sports Odisha pulling one back from her left, checking back onto her right, goes on the outside and then dispatching a shot. From her left, quickly checking onto her right foot. And a wonderful finish from Piari. El Shadai's header uh, falls ever so kindly for Manisha Kalyan, who cuts inside and then drills it into the bottom corner for 3 1. And that is how the first half ended. Four goals in the second. El Shadai, this one, crossing it for Somia, who heads it into an empty net. Uh, resisting the challenge of Manisha, El Shadai. This was a chance for Sports Odisha, nearly an own goal from Ranjana Chanu. Uh, luckily, it stayed out. Manisha Kalyan with a wonderful through ball. Uh, Somia scoring her second. And fifth for Gokulam. Ranjana Chanu's long ball for El Shaddai. Completing her hat trick. Scoring the sixth one for the Malabarians. Now this is the last one. Pulling the trigger from 20 yards out. High in confidence, El Chadai. Uh, so at full time from the capital ground is Gokulam Kela Football Club 7, Sports Odisha 1. Uh, thanks for joining us and we will join you shortly with the second game of the day. See you soon.